This is for you. <laughs> Women in refrigerators. lovely reading type people, I am here with Holly Bourne, Me. author of many books including the Spinster Club Trilogy? That's not yes. its official name is it? No but I insist on calling it that. What's its official name? The normal series. I'm looking at my publicist. <laughs> <laughs> Which is finally coming to an end with What's a Girl Gonna Do? There we go. A brilliant striking cover. Thank you very much. Cool. I had nothing to do with it but I <laughs> get to hold it. <laughs> be proud of it. <laughs> Although there might be more. So there is a novella coming out, yes. I read right there. <laughs> in What's a Girl Gotta Do, this book focuses on Lottie, if you're familiar with the trio of girls who feature in these books. And Lottie undertakes a feminist project. Yes. Where she has to call out every instance of sexism she sees for a whole month. And she has a horn, which we have. We, we have, have a horn. The reason we have this horn is to call out sexism we see in the media. So we've got a load of newspapers, magazines here, and we're going to have a read through and see what we can find. Oh god. Maybe there'll be no sexism in them at all. Let's hope. It'll be a really boring, really boring video. That's the end of the video now. What do you want to look at first? I just want the horn. <laughs> oh, so no. oh This is for you. <laughs> That's so loud! I argue that this is sexist. Yeah. Changing my looks will help me find a man. Uh, That's a really problematic message. You don't have to change your looks to find a man. And like, your looks aren't important. Also, maybe the kind of fact that why why does she have to find a man? Exactly. Is that necessary? I don't know. If you have a man, then you have to like argue with them about what to watch on Netflix. And just, yeah. You can't just watch all of Gilmore Girls in a row. <laughs> so I'm gonna go for page. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go for the, the front page of this newspaper where this woman is only identified by the people she dated and married okay. because she has no identity of her own. Nope. Yeah. She's just dated people. I've got one! <laughs> <laughs> I broke the horn! So, page two of this <laughs> joy of the magazine, Billy and Lily are heading for trouble because they dared get divorced. Oh. Their relationship <laughs> broke. So that's it. They're not good women. Bad women who can't hold the relationship together. Oh, oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's happened to that page? It's, so it's got in, so I, Taylor and Katy Perry, whatever side you are on, I like the whole getting girls to fight each other and get publicity because you know girls have to hate each other and yeah. women can't be successful without having a cat fight. Like that is to me sexist. Yeah. And just like I'm team Taylor, but um, you know I just <laughs> you have a team, but yeah, you disapprove. But still, I disapprove of it. I'm buying into it, and yeah, I disapprove. So okay, freaking depressing. <laughs> <laughs> this is, you know, it's a nice well. It could be a very serious article. It's it's politics. It's the news. But you know, our new prime minister happens to be a woman. Yeah. So of course there are um, hands oh, on God. heels. She's bringing him to heel because women wear high heels. Oh oh! <laughs> Everybody is so thin. Yeah. So thin. Yeah. And it's not her fault that she's thin. Like, you know, that's probably a healthy weight for her, but they're just always being thin women makes girls, I think, feel really bad about themselves. I guess the question would be, could you find a single model in that whole magazine? Oh my god. Who is not quite quite thin. Okay, I'm trying. Everybody's still really thin. And any, white. Yeah, I was and say, white. Are there any models of colour? I have not magazine? found one model who is not white. Now, this is one thing that I do try to do in the book is mm -hmm. prove that, like, girls can't be perfect examples of feminism, and mm -hmm. then there's a single cognitive dissonance, which is when you can be basically a huge hypocrite, and that you can still be a feminist and not be perfect. So I think we should mm -hmm. finish by honking the horn at things that are wrong with us. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna just raise my arm and honk. <laughs> 
<laughs> I shave my armpits. Yeah. And I have no fem like feminist justification for it apart from that I'm scared that what would happen to me and how like ridiculed and disgusted people would be if um, I didn't. This hit home when I was reading it in the books because there's some things that I just haven't experienced in that way. Like I don't actually wear makeup that much. But shaving my legs and shaving my armpits, I remember just being made to feel not not like I, yeah, that I wasn't a woman and that I was unclean and dirty and clearly like some horrible kind of pariah. And yeah, that just that not shaving is not an option. And I still do that. No, thank you. Honk at yourself, yeah. honk at your legs, <laughs> your clean shaven, <laughs> silky legs. Maybe you can be perfect, but you can try. Mm -hmm. And we can always be better and we can always learn. Mm -hmm. And we shouldn't attack people who are trying. Yeah. We might be a little bit further away down the learning road as well. Yeah. That will just put people off. Yeah. And feminism makes everybody happier. Yeah. Like it makes both men and women happier. Like yeah. that's been proven. And you know the countries are more equal earn more money. So it's yeah. like just like, everyone has to just you know try and don't get out of airport because <laughs> I can't hear myself. <laughs> Sexism is so bad it is definitely hot. <laughs> <laughs> that was Holly Vaughan. Ah, thank you for having me. This was so much fun. <laughs> you should all go and read the Spinster Club books. Aren't really called cool, Spinster Club books. <laughs> Don't start with this one if you haven't read any of them, but start with Am I Normal Yet, which is an amazing feminist book which also looks at mental health. It was how I first started reading your books and got absolutely hooked on them. If you have read the first two and you're dying to read this one, you're in for an amazing treat. I loved it so much. Brilliant. Thank you! See you guys Bye. in my next video. Bye. Bye! Also, now I was the very grown-up age of 11. I was leaving primary school and was surely about to start at my very own version of Hogwarts.